Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am doing a video that is based on if I lost all my makeup, and oh my gosh, if I did, <laughs> and somebody gave me a $200 gift card to use at Sephora, what would I pick up? So, and it's during, uh, we still have the VIB going on sale, so you get like 20% off. So if you guys are interested in hearing what this is all about and seeing what I picked, keep on watching. Okay, so I was actually tagged by uh, Kathy Beauty Care Chats. If you don't know her, you're missing out. I love her to bits. Me and her have become really good friends. She just, she has this beautiful personality. So I am going to put a link down below to her video. I was also tagged by uh, Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. I believe that's her name. Her name is also Kathy, but she spells it with a C. So Kathy Beauty Care Chats has a K and Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. Her name is Kathy. Her name, hers starts with a C. And I got to know her relatively, I think, just through the loop as we go and share people's videos. And she tagged me and she is also lovely. She's very, uh, a very sweet, very kind. I, I really enjoy watching her. And then the other channel who started the whole thing, um, that actually tagged Kathy Be Beauty Care Chats is um, Penn Smith Skincare. And I'm going to have to remember what her name is, but I am new to her channel, but I am enjoying watching her. Um, I think she's going to have a lot of feed for us for skincare. She's an esthetician, uh, she is a hairstylist, and she's also a hair extension uh, educator, is what I've seen on her. Um, about part you know on her on your channel where it has about like a little bit about yourself and uh, I learned I got her from Kathy Beauty Care Chats because uh, she had tagged her but she's just the one that started the whole thing and I think it was something to the the um, reference to she actually did not know where her, some of her makeup was at and she lost it and she did end up, I think, finding it eventually, but it had like a lot of her staples in it. And she thought, oh my God, you know, and then just gave her the whole idea, I guess, of like, well, what if you lost all your makeup? Like, like what if this is all the makeup you had and you lost it all, what would you do? I was actually joking around with Kathy uh, Beauty Care Chats because <laughs> I told her, I said, oh my gosh, I said, I'd have to have a moment of silence because, you know, of all the work I've, work and effort that I've done in collecting the products I have and all that kind of stuff. But on a serious note, yes, like if I lost like all my makeup, um, these would be items that I would definitely purchase to get myself back into the uh, collection of my makeup. But these are the ones I would grab first because um, some of them would be a little bit budget friendly to a sense. Mind you, this is supposed to be like while it's during the 20% off VIB. So that's why I wanted to get it up today because I know tomorrow is like the last day, I believe. And maybe you might see one of these items here and think, hmm, you know, maybe you might want to check it out. I'm just going to say too, real quick, I feel pretty good wearing makeup today. I have had very, very extreme bad allergies and... I wasn't sure if it was to the makeup I was using, something I tried, or if it is more to the weather we're having. I'm leaning more towards the weather. I don't feel I can say 100% it is the weather because I'm going to test the waters and see. I'm curious, but I feel pretty confident to say 90% of me feels it is more the weather because I do experience very bad eye allergies. And so I didn't want to overdo my eyes today with too much makeup on it. And I feel a little, I feel a little naky, as I always like to say, but I actually didn't wear makeup for a whole week, a whole week. I kind of gave my skin a little breather, I guess, to a sense, but a whole week, yes, I did not wear makeup and it was very difficult, but I've been trying to deal with the situation I was having and but we'll get into that in another video and i'll go in a little more in depth and chat with you guys because i think other people probably might experience the same thing i do you know and i'm going to give out tips and pointers of what i did in the process while i was going through it 
So, all right, let's get started to what I would pick up at Sephora uh, with my gift card. So the first thing I'm thinking of is primer. Now, the nice thing about the primer I'm going to pick is you can get it in the deluxe sample, which is like $15. And honestly, it is one of my favorite primers. And I've shared it before saying it is a favorite primer. And it's the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. I really like this one. It is um, silicone free. It does have coconut water in it, so it's pretty hydrating. And um, I like how it just goes on my skin. It holds up my makeup well. So I haven't tried the spray. I know they have a spray, so I haven't tried it. So I didn't want to actually put something on here I haven't tried. Um, there's some things I would like to try, but these are never, these are products that I do use and I'm familiar with. So the Too Faced Hangover definitely would be my primer to pick. Now when I'm thinking foundation, I don't know if it would be as simple as it is now. I totally know what I would actually say my most favorite foundation is, but it's actually considered a CC cream. But to me, it's, and I hear a lot of people say it gives a coverage just like a foundation because it's like, it can give you a full on coverage, definitely. My pick is the IT CC. This is the illumination one. I use this more right now, like fall and winter, uh, because, you know, with the drying skin I experience, uh, I like both of them. And I would definitely say you could get the original one because I feel like it gives not, I don't know if I want to say dewiness or uh, luminous, maybe something like that. It gives you a little bit of a glow. It gives you a nice, healthy look to your skin. This one does the little extra of the healthy um, look. And the illumination one, when you first pump it out, it might scare you because you'll see uh, it looks almost like you might think it has glitter in it, but it doesn't. It's hard. Just when you go in an Ulta or Sephora or one of those places, uh, check the illumination out, you know, like put it on your hand. That's, you know, and, and you'll see what I mean. Cause once you rub it into your skin and everything, it's not something so noticeable and terrible. Now some don't like it. You know, some people have not liked it. They felt it was too much. So I would say go to the original one, but either one's good for me. So, and this you can also get in the $15 uh, smaller tube, you know, like if I was just starting out, uh, but originally it's $38 for this. So one of these I feel like was pretty easy for me because I know they're favorites of mine right now. Definitely the Tarte uh, Shape Tape. I know it's been all the rage. Tarte Shape Tape is a very good full coverage concealer. I mean, total full coverage. You could literally just put this, you know, like all over in the spots that you need to correct. And then put that CC on and you are good and ready to go. So I really like the Tarte Shape Tape. So I knew that was going to be on, on this. The only thing I noticed, they don't have it on Sephora right now. Did anybody notice that or is it just me? So I'm, guess, I'm guess, guessing, guessing, where'd that come from? Guessing. Don't ask. I don't know. I have been so delirious, so tired, and there's so much been going on right now within these past couple weeks. It's been an overload. But yeah, I have noticed they didn't have it on the Sephora site. So my guess is during this uh, VIB and the VIB Rouge and all those things that, you know, it sold out. Like everybody took advantage of it, and it is a very popular item. That's my guess um, because I can't foresee Sephora not selling it at all. Brows. Uh, I, you know, for eyebrows, there's only two high-end brow products I've ever tried that I can even think of on the top of my head. Literally, my eyebrow products are mostly all drugstore. Uh, as a matter of fact, I bought the uh, e.l.f. one not too long ago that everybody has been talking about, the two, and it's only $2. So obviously, at some point, I picked that up, I mean, $2, you know. But if we're going to talk about Sephora and I had to think about eyebrows, I've never tried the Anastasia, so I guess I would get the Brow Wiz. That would be my aim. However, but there's one in particular that sticks in my mind, and it was like gone, and then it came back, but they changed it a little bit, so I'm not sure what it will be like, and that is the Architect from Tarte. Now, I had the original because it came with um, a little spoolie on the end, and then, you know, your eyebrow uh, coloring, in, and it had like the angle, like some of them are, the angled kind, and 
then it had to cover up like it could cover up like if you had little extra hairs there maybe hanging out or just to make it look sharp you know and it had that like a little coverage concealer kind of a thing uh, but that's not on there no more it looks like it's more of a brow gel on the one end and then the actual brow product itself like the crayon color crayon thing or whatever you want to call it it's on the other end yeah i probably would get that if it was on sephora but i don't see it on there yet but it is new we're gonna go into mascara and honestly i really fell in love with the tarte uh lights camera lashes i have and they do have wonder beauty on there and i do like their curl one their curl mascara it's really nice but i actually really like the tarte one and now better than sex i like from too faced however there is times i do have the same problem that other people i hear have where i'll get like later on it'll get the the little flakes on the bottom of my you know down below here i really like the lights camera lashes so i would actually pick this one up we're talking about setting powder that was simple easy peasy for me was the cover fx powder and this one's the ten dollar one there is obviously the bigger size which is i think around near 20 to 30 dollars but this is the ten ten dollar one now i got mine in light and it's the illuminating one so they do have the illuminating one and then i just have the original one but i love this one i actually got this from a recommendation from terra babies if you ever watch her and it does give you that beautiful airbrush finish look and if you're all about illumination you definitely would want to get and try the um illumination one love that stuff so that that was pretty easy for me for that going to get into bronzers now the high end if i had to think about it right now of the bronzers i've tried my two favorites are actually the chocolate soleil and then the uh, park avenue princess from tarte thought about this here this is the little pro glow to go so this actually has the bronzer and the highlight really nice highlight in this little guy and he's like 23 dollars. this one actually has a bronzer called chisel in it though and this bronzer is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer for my skin tone, but it works great for my skin and I'm fair to light. And then you have these two beautiful highlights right here. Yeah, sorry for the glare because it's the way the packaging is, but gleam, oh my goodness, that gleam. Oh, that is like the one I really like the most in here. There you go, right there, the highlight and the, um, and then burst is nice. It's not bad neither. It is pretty, it's more of a goldeny color of a highlight. So if you haven't seen this set, I'm telling you guys, if you have not seen this set, pick it up. $23, seriously, highly recommend this. I think anybody would love this one. I know they have that little eyeshadow palette I've thought about getting different times myself. If most y'all know me, it, it, it is kind of difficult for me to, cause like I figured the highlight and the bronzer is in here. So that covers the highlight and the bronzer. I went the other route and got the chocolate soleil and stuck with getting the $15 uh, deluxe samples of like the primers and the CC cream and stuff. And if I had enough money, if I had enough money, my most favorite highlight of all is the Laura Mercier and you guys know that and this is the indiscretion this is her what is these called the face face illuminators and I'm gonna get me another one I should have grabbed another one during the sale and I didn't because I didn't want to go too crazy and I was trying to get some of the products I knew that were limited edition because that's usually what I try to do but this is if this I could get and I you know if it worked out in that way this is the best highlight if you want to just have that look where it doesn't look like you have highlighter on but it gives you that glow oh, this is just to me this is like the oh i don't know i just love this one eyeliner i've not really tried too many eyeliners also in the higher end now if we're talking mally yes uh some laura gellers yes but they're not sold there um, so most of mine are drugstore and Maybelline usually is the ones I love. I have tried Urban Decay eyeliners and I love them. And I had a black one 
and I believe I had a brown one. This one here is my limited edition one. Well, I think it's limited edition. I don't know. This is Alkaline. This came out when the um, <clears throat> fourth Naked palette came out, the heat one. If anything, I would get the Urban Decay and 24 and 7 Glide On Eye Pencil. That would be the eyeliner I would get if I'm going to go into the high end. Lips. I actually, because I love these too, and I know Kathy um, loves them also from Kathy Beauty Care Chats. She loves these also, and it is the Buxom, these lip liners. Plump Line Lip Liner, and I'm definitely going to get more colors. I bought this when I was in Sephora at JCPenney the one day. I was like in the store, and I was like having a swatch fest. I mean, I could have gone nuts. These are $17, a nice giant pencil. So you can use them as a lip liner, but you can also fill in, you know, and just use this as your lip liner, lipstick, all in one. And I love that. Mine's Dolly Danger, which is such oh, a beautiful color, which I always liked Dolly anyway in the lip gloss, Buxom lip gloss. And I love those, but I really like also as a lipstick, so I would get a lipstick from the Vice Lipstick Collection, the cream ones, actually. The cream ones are really nice. This one was a limited edition, so I haven't really bought any of the original, so I'd probably, I'd probably pick something that was in more of a neutral shade is probably what I would get. But their cream Vice lipsticks are wonderful. I love them. I do have this color on right now. This is in Fuel, and it was from the, also from the Heat. I actually didn't get the palette and got the eyeliner and lipstick, but that's the rate I went. Okay, blush. That was hard, too, because I love my Tarte blushes, but I really like the Rocketeur blush, and I do like the new one, the California one. That one's really nice, so it'd probably be between California, which I didn't pull that one out. I should have pulled that one out, or the Rocketeur uh, blush, you know, from Benefit. But there's the blush right there. There's the color right there. And it's really pretty. So lastly is an eyeshadow palette. It came down to, and I know this is the most majority everybody's probably going to say, Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And the reason why I picked it, I mean, yes, I love Anastasia. She's one of my favorites in the eyeshadows along with Lorac. I thought... You know, if I was in that situation, I had to wait for a good while to get a palette. I would want something that I could use and do a whole different variety of looks as in like what I, what I like to wear a lot more. And it's the, like, you know, you have these neutral shades, you have the berry shades, you have the orange shades, you have like all this, all this different variety in here. You have shimmers, you have mattes, and I just thought this one would be the best one out of them and so yeah i mean i think most people are going to pick this one this is a very popular palette for good reason because you know the quality of the eyeshadows are there just gorgeous colors so this has a little bit of everything all right beauties thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate it please make sure you go and check those other ladies out i will have links down below to each and every single one of them please go check them out and show them some love maybe subscribe if you like also if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you, you could come join me each week i do try to have videos up every week so go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. There is a bell and that bell will notify you of when my videos are ready and uploaded and ready to watch. So if you guys would click the subscribe button and the bell, I'd appreciate that very much. Also, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. That would also make me very happy. As I always say, put a smile on my face. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. I'm actually going to put down below a couple of people I'm going to tag. And if any of you guys would love to do this tag, go ahead, join in, do the tag. We would love to hear your answers because I'm sure it's a possibility. You never know what could happen. So if you were in that situation, what would you do if you had a $200 gift card and you got to go to Sephora during the BIB sale. All right. Love you guys. Mwah. Take care. Bye.